Angelica. And I'm Taylor. and this week we're gonna have one of our really good friends on. Her name is Ashley Wild. She's gonna be doing this video with us. Say hi. Hi, I'm Ashley Wild. I do slam poetry, comedy, skits, sometimes rap, lots of ridiculous stuff. And I'm really excited today to be working with Jelly and Day. This video is going to be the My First Time tag. And it's going to be a little different because we've chosen our own questions. And it's not like everyone else's questions out there. So, let's get started. Get it, girl. What was the first time that you two met each other? I was at a hookah bar a few years ago, maybe three or four years ago. I would say four years. Okay. Four years ago. The first time we met was at a hookah bar about four years ago. I was with her best friend that I was friends with also. Um, it wasn't a hookah bar. I remember what she was wearing. She was looking good in that soccer outfit. She was looking good in her short shorts. Oh my god. Ashley, when was the first time something really took your breath away? I was in the talent show in third grade. I tried out with a bunch of magic tricks and I was very confident in my ability to wow the audience with my magic tricks. But when I first broke through those red curtains and all the spotlights were on me and I could see all the members of the audience, that took my breath away. What was the first time you failed at something? I would say is when I had the chance to go to college and I was like, nope. Mine has to do with college as well. I played soccer in college and I quit because I wanted to live with this one. Not my fault. <laughs> and I quit soccer and I failed my father because that's what he wanted me to be successful in and pursue. When was the first time you did something brave? I think I was around seven or eight and uh, at the time I was in kind of a compromising position. When I was younger my father battled a lot with substance abuse and specifically with alcohol and around that time I realized while I was with my dad that I was in a situation that wasn't safe for me or for my younger brother and um, being pretty young I had to really work up the courage in order to be able to call my mom and say hey I don't think that we're in a safe situation right now. And you know, being a kid and that being my dad, I feel like that was pretty brave for little Ashley. What was the first thought you had when you woke up today? First thing that popped into your head. Oh my God, it's early, I do not want to go to work. But then I looked over and I was like, oh, who's this hot chick on my bed? And it was her. Hey baby. The first thing I thought about today was I want pickles. And I want Red Bull. And no, I love Daylin. She just forgot that part. And no, I am not pregnant. Who is the first person that you texted today? My mom. Because she texted me early this morning, presumably when she woke up, and asked me about school and asked me about my brother. He's been looking for a job. And I woke up and I was like, oh, Mom, what? And uh, I told her that school is stressful and my brother has an interview today. And that was my first text message of today. Tell me about the first time that you felt extremely proud of yourself for something. When I moved out on my own with Angelica, we had our own place, we did our own thing, I got my own job, I got my own ring, and I don't have it on. Busted! Okay, yeah, but we moved out on our own and I was very proud of myself that I kind of grew up. I mean, I still like to color with crayons, but I kind of grew up, so I'm proud about that. And I first came out to my father, and that was a year and a half into our relationship, and I told him that I was in love with a woman, and I would never go back. What was your first video on YouTube? The first video I can think of that had any real significance uh, was the beer pong song, which the story there is, I had a friend that I really liked to play beer pong with, when I was 16 and she was in the hospital getting her appendix out and she was like it would cheer me up a lot if you wrote me a song so I wrote her the beer punk song and I made it into a video and I posted it on YouTube and um, to this day people still sometimes say aren't you the girl who wrote the beer punk song which blows my mind first vacation that you can remember going on one time I went to Colorado with my family. They took me out of the state for the first time, went skiing, got my ski on. I felt real snow because in Texas there was snow. I went to Chile when I was nine to meet some of my family. Chili's the restaurant? 
No. <laughs> Chili and Casamere. I'm mostly, I love that place. But I wouldn't really consider that a vacation because I went to go see my family. So I would have to say. I think the first vacation that I actually had was when I went to Cancun, Mexico. She got a bad sunburn, so. And yeah, I got second degree burns on my face. She was looking like a walking tampon, like. <laughs> when was your first date and what happened? The first real date I went on, and what I mean by real is with a girl. Um, it was to the movies, and it was very traditional, I'll pay for your movie, let me open the door for you. Uh, I was extremely nervous, and I think there might have been like a little like, let me creep my hand onto your hand in the movie theater type of thing, maybe pulled one of these, you know, stud from an early age. Thank you guys so much for having me, it was a super pleasure to work with you, I look forward to many more